This is how you can create 3D magic cube animations in CapCut. Start a new project and place a black background on the main layer. Place a white image above it on a new layer. Go to Mask and select the Rectangle option. Change its size to 1080 by 1080. Duplicate this layer and change it to black. 1080 divided by 3 is 360 and we need 9 squares. Change its size to 360 by 360. Duplicate it and change the X position value to minus 360. This is a perfect fit, but we need white borders around them. Reduce the black square sizes to 320 by 320. The borders are not the same size. The left side is 20 pixels, and in the middle, it is 2 times 20. That's 20 plus 40 is equal to 60. 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30. So we need to move the left black square by 10 pixels to the right. Change the minus 360 to minus 350. Double this layer and change it to plus 350. Select all three black layers and duplicate all of them. Move the layers up and change the Y value to 350 on all of them. Make sure you are not on the basic, but on the mask tab. Duplicate these layers again, move the layers up, and change the Y value to minus 350. Select all 10 layers, and create a compound clip. Go to Animation, Combo, and select the Magic Cube 1 animation. Duplicate this compound clip and search for the Magic Cube 2 animation. If you do a Magic Cube 1 and after that a Magic Cube 2 animation, they follow each other and it has a seamless transition. There's only two Magic Cube animations in CapCut, but with a little creativity, you can combine it with other effects or animations to create something unique. You can download the Magic Cube images and all the pre-made Magic Cube animations from the download link in the description.